Today I'm gonna be ranking every single video game that I have on Steam. Only in my library, not the whole Steam games. Because if not, if that, if I were to do that, I would just take a whole year to record that. But uh, honestly, this is honestly like my opinions. Like this is what I think about the games. It's not like ranking of like what's the best game in the world or whatnot. No, this is just like my opinion of the games I have in Steam and that I've played or not played. And um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please do not attack me if you uh, if I somehow offended your game or something. Please. It's not that serious. You don't have to Google my location, please. But let's get right into it. Sorry for not posting for like a month. Rainbow Six Siege. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I played this game, I would feel like I'm actually terrible at the game. Like, I never really got into the game, like, to the point where, like, oh my god, I want to rank to, like, a, an amazing diamond level. I don't freaking know. But, like, I, I could understand people liking this game. And it's just, like, for me, it, for, it's not for me, to be honest. It's not for me. But because it is a good game, I'll rank it C tier. Not my favorite, but it's a good game. Tekken 8. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I have two Tekken games out of like the 20 that there is and I have Tekken 7 and Tekken 8 I'm gonna just put both of them together. I guess but Tekken in general. I really like the fighting aspect I like the um, the visuals the graphics and everything especially in Tekken 8. It's really good the story uh, I'm not a big fan of the story, but I do love the game itself. My cousin Daniel really got me into it But I'll put it in B tier not my favorite either, but like I would play it with my cousin Poppy playtime not gonna lie, I crap my pants every single damn time I play this game. Now I'm gonna involve all three chapters of the game, like Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, 2, and 3. But in general, I think it's a very good game. It really scares the crap out of me, and um, I think it's an A tier for that. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. S tier, all the way. I remember playing this game when like, I was a child, when I had my Xbox 360. Oh my god, was it cool when my friends would come over to my house and play a split screen games and black ops zombies? Oh, it was just amazing. Like, I could not, like, I wish I went back to those days, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I miss playing with my friends and, and split screen. I guess I could invite my cousins to do that, but like, like, we don't do that no more. Like, it's 2024. Like, who does that? But other than that, it's a really good game. I enjoyed playing it when it, when it came out and when I had it. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Stronghold Crusaders 2. I don't play it. I remember playing it just once and like after that there, there's better games. I just don't play it. Death. I'm not gonna lie. I probably only played this game like once or twice, but um like there, there's like it's just there. It's, I just don't play it. It's just I don't know why it's there in my library. It's just there. Hearts of Iron 4 or 5. I don't even know. I'm not gonna lie, playing, okay, I'm I'm a huge, like, map guy. Like, I like seeing maps and countries taking over other countries. So this is a huge, this is a huge hit for me. I love this game. And the thing is, you have to invest a lot of time into this game. Like, I mean a lot. But other than that, it's a really fun game. It's based off the World War II. But, like, it's just, it's just so fun. Because the thing is, you can play as any country. And anything could happen, literally. But for that, because I don't, I play it, but not, like, crazy crazy where it's like ah i'm between an a and a b tier but i'm gonna go with a tier because i love the game i, I absolutely love it anno 1800 or 1 800 i'm not gonna lie i like city builders i'm not a huge fan of city builders but like i would play it but to me it's just like i played it once i try to get into it and then like i don't know i just feel like there's better games so i'm gonna put this in c tier Arma 3. <sighs> I remember my brother introduced me to this game because, like, I was brand new to Steam games and, like, this whole PC setup. I remember when I used to play on my PS4, but this was, like, my first game that my brother told me to get. And I'm not gonna lie, it was so complex. Like, I did not know what I was doing. It was, like, a real life game. Like, when you reload, you actually throw the magazine. You don't get the. I don't even know how to explain it. But other than that, um, it's very. It's such a good game. I guess a uh, good aspect. But, like,. You don't finish your games like if you would play you won't finish your game. It's so long. So for that I don't play as much I'm gonna put it in C tier C tier tier bleh, C tier 2 because I just I don't know I like it's there I would play it when my brother brother plays it Terraria S tier I'm not gonna lie Terraria is like like to me Terraria was a Minecraft ripoff But to be honest not really it's like its own unique game and 2d 3d style or whatnot and I really loved it I really enjoyed it with the amount of bosses it had in the competition. It was really fun when I played with my cousin 
Uh, I would usually play this with my cousin. I wouldn't play it by myself because if I play it by myself, I'll probably get bored and never play it again. But when I do play it, it was really fun. So S tier, I love it. Geometry Dash. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. I remember breaking my tablet when I was like 10 years old playing this game. I'm not gonna lie. But on the PC, it's a different feeling. I don't play as much. I actually play more on my phone when I'm like out at work or something than in my PC. But like if we're ranking the game itself, then I'll go with A tier. I really love the game. Getting over it. This is another thing that would probably get me like to break my tablet, but it wasn't out for tablets. So this will probably make me break my PC. So that's why I never got into it or tried. I really, I played it. I remember my cousin introduced me to it. I played it once and I'm like, yeah, fudge, you know, I know I'm a rich. So uh, I'm going to put it, it's the first game that I hated. I really didn't like it. I'm going to put D tier. Rec Room. Okay. This game depends. If you play it in VR, it's really good. If you play it in PC, it's a little different feeling. I'm not going to lie. If you play it on PC, it's like playing like FNAF VR, Help Wanted, on the Steam edition without a VR. It's, it just doesn't feel right. But if we're talking about the game itself. Again, it's actually a really good game. It's like it's like a Roblox in VR type thing. Like, So it's really fun. I like playing other games with my friends and whatnot. So and like, I'm going to put it in B tier. I like it. I like the game. I like the game. Resident Evil 6 Terrible Terrible I'm not much of a Resident Evil fan Actually I was trying to get into it And I told my friend Because he's a huge Resident Evil fan <laughs> And he brought me to Resident Evil 6 first The first game And it was the worst one Apparently So like that kind of ruined my, my 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 likings for Resident Evil I will try it out the other games But not for the moment Castle of Miner Z I'm not gonna lie. I remember playing this game like when I first got the PC too because it was like a ripoff of Minecraft and freaking some other games. <laughs> I had fun playing it, but like it was just so weird to play. Like, it, like the game felt clunky. It didn't even work right. Like I didn't even know how to reload a gun in the game. It was just that bad. So for that, I'm gonna put it in D tier. Desolate. I don't play it. To be honest, I downloaded the game with my cousin. We played it once. And we left and we never played it again. We it just yeah. VR chat. Same scenario with the rec room. If you're playing it on Steam, it's kind of weird. But if you're playing on VR, on the other hand, it's a very, very good game. Like, very good. But the, but what I like about VR is like it's like it's like Google. You could be on the dark side of the web sometimes. Like you know what I mean. Like you could sometimes be in areas where you shouldn't be. And for that, I don't really enjoy the game as much. I actually don't play it at all. But it's a good game. I'll put it in B tier. Forza Horizon Five. I really love racing games. I actually love this one. It's the best one I have out of all the, like the racing games I have like right now. But to me, I wish I had a steering wheel <laughs> to play. I hated playing on the keyboard. But other than that, it's still A tier to me. It was really fun. There's so much to do in the game and whatnot. Pixel Gun 3D. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> this game, this damn game. It's the definition of a pay to win game. I'm not even kidding. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I played this game when it came out as a child, bro. It was amazing. It was like, I seen a bright future for the game, dude. Like it actually was such a good concept, such a good game, dude. I remember playing it on my freaking Android phone about to blow up because I was playing this game. But then over the years, as I grew older and got an iPhone freaking 12 or whatever, the game started becoming more pay to win. Like the owner just freaking like put money like, money hogging like gambling type of crap into the game it just got boring and like you can't even really have fun with it no more it's just like i don't know just for that dude like i'll give it a d tier but if i were able to go back in the time it would definitely be s tier but at the moment it's pay to win among us it's really fun with friends actually i enjoyed it i know the game died but <laughs> i have a discord server and we actually still play time from time and it's really fun when we play. I still enjoy Among Us even till this day. Even when it blew up back in 2020, I still enjoy it in 2024. Just playing with friends. If you play by yourself, it's kind of different. But like, I have like, not, not to brag or not to show off, you know, I am flexing on you. But like, I have friends. And so I do play a lot of Among Us with them, especially with the Discord server. It's so fun when we just scream at each other and cuss each other out. No, I'm just kidding. But for that, I'm going to actually give it, it's not an S tier. It's not, but like, 
I want to, but it's not, it's not, it's not that great. I don't play it all the time. I play it like once every month, really. Apex Legends. Okay, here's my honest opinions about the game. I hate the fact that I gotta waste 200 damn dollars for a damn cosmetic item. Like, I need to waste a lot of money just to get something that's called an heirloom. So my character could look better. Just epic while I'm in the battlefield trying to kill people and win that battle royale battle. And I'm not gonna lie, it's just that the game is really cool. I like the concept. I like everything about it. It's really enjoyable. But every time I hop in the game, like every time I try to play, I'm like, man, to really get into it, I gotta waste money, man. And like, no, I'm not <laughs> wasting that much money on this damn game. Like, damn. And I, I, I really got into it. I really like it. It's just like money aspect like damn it wants all your money but for that i'll give it a i'll give it a b tier i really like the game but it's not it's not my time block story i remember playing this on the phone not in this not in like the pc but when i played on phone it was actually such a good game i never finished the story i know there's actually a full-on story but it's all right it's like a minecraft ripoff but its own thing i'll give it c tier brawlhalla so i like to play super smash bros better <laughs> I don't know if that's explains is that explains it all, but uh, yeah, Brahala is just it's just another Smash Bros. But I don't, I don't really like it. It's a D tier to me, to be honest. Call of Duty Warzone, man, a Godzilla skin came out and I bought it on the spot. That's probably the only reason I like Call of Duty Warzone at the moment. I actually don't play it as often. <laughs> I'm a huge Godzilla fan, so when they came out with that skin, I'm like, I'm copying that right now. But other than that, talking about the game itself, like it's really fun. It's its own battle royale, like. You know the other hundreds of battle royale there is in the world and uh it's really unique like you actually die really fast which i freaking hate like i get in a battle and i die within the first two seconds like damn i can't live without breathing and but other than that it's a really fun game and i put it i'll put it in b tier it's really fun i like it but it really it really really angers you, angers you call of duty black ops 3 in my opinion it's not as good as black ops 2 but it is still good and that for that reason i'm gonna put it in a tier i still like the game i still had it and i still played with friends in split screen mode <laughs> during the time but it was not better than black ops 2. black ops 2 was like the best for me like it was at its prime i heard they were reworking it too so like i hope that's true company of heroes 2. i don't play it as much but if i do i do enjoy it but like i don't play it as much at the c tier Crew 2, I don't play. Honestly, Forza is just like, to me, in my opinion, it's like 100% better. Like, Crew 2, it, it was kind of weird for me, I'm not gonna lie. Dead by Daylight. <sighs> I like this game a lot. I actually, I barely got into the game. So, I actually love it. And it's a really good game. But I heard very bad things about the, <laughs> the creators of this game. <laughs> But I still love the game. I enjoy it playing both Survivor and Killer Sides. I do know sometimes they break their own game with the killers they make, like the new ones they release. But other than that, it's so cool. Like the adrenaline you get from like fixing the generators and like trying to escape, knowing like if you're gonna survive or not. It's just like it's there for me. It's perfect. And that's why I'm gonna give it A tier. I love I really love the game. Dead Polly. I remember playing with my cousin Derek once. It was actually really fun, but there was a problem with it it was still early access and it still is right now it's not like it's not <laughs> but when i played it during the time it wasn't there wasn't really much to do <laughs> and i'll notice like whenever it's like a looting type of game every time i'll go to loot a house the loot would respawn so like it's like an infinite glitch like i could get whatever i want but other than that i mean it's a d tier i don't really play it i enjoyed it but like eh, it's, it's early access if that explains destiny 2 <sighs> here's one thing i hate i hate the fact that i have to be buy like different damn stories like why why do you do that i don't get it just why so at the time i did play i did play destiny 2 for a little bit i did enjoy it not as much but i did like enjoy it the, the aspect of like you know the future out of space alien destroying piece of whatever whatever but other than that put it in c tier I liked it, but not the best. Dirt Rally. There you go. FIFA 23. 
damn bro i would rage in this game so dang hard whenever i would lose it's like is it me or does your people or does your like players not pass to the ball to each other like i'm stuttering just talking about it dude it gets me angry every time i play i try to pass it and the opponent just takes the ball from me like damn just get the ball other than that i'll play fifa 23 with my with my brother usually he, he would still destroy me he's a huge fifa fan and i'm not i'm really just like i'm there just to play to be honest <laughs> And I really like soccer, actually. I really like everything, like the Gold Cup, World Cup. I, I enjoy watching all those. But, like, playing the game, it, it just gets me so mad when I lose. Like, like I'm close to breaking my monitor. I'm not going to lie, lie when I play this game. Like, dang. But because of that, it's a good game. I really enjoy it. I just hate the fact that I have to buy the newer version each damn year. So for that, I'm going to give it a C tier. It's a good game. But, yeah. EVE Online. I remember this game was so complex when I downloaded it. I never got into it because I'm like, man, I would literally need to study in college just to play this game. So I, I just don't play it. I, I just don't. The Forest. This game was so dang good. I'm not even going to lie. Like when we played The Forest, me and Daniel played The Forest, my cousin. And oh my God, we enjoyed everything. We got scared. We pooped our pants. We do silly crap in the game. Like. It was just so much fun and for that i'm gonna give it an s tier i had so much playing it and then we were waiting for sons of the forest and that brought us more excitement god of war i'm not gonna lie i actually made a video about this <laughs> and i didn't finish it which i will explain later <laughs> but uh i would see why it's a good game and why people love it but i haven't played it so that's why i'm gonna put it i don't play don't think that don't play is like a terrible like game no it's just that the fact i just don't play it like i just don't play it it's not bad it's just that i don't play it. gta 5 i love running over people in the game i'm just kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i love shooting that now <laughs> gta 5 is a really fun game i'm not gonna lie i love doing highs and whatnot it brings like a very criminal aspect of the game <laughs> gta 5 was out for like almost 11 to 12 years i'm not gonna lie i remember playing it i remember I, I remember getting the game when i was young and i would be so afraid of that damn loading screen and my mother would walk in and be like hey what are you playing and i would just like i would have to like hide it like i remember that but other than that the game is actually really fun there's a lot to do it's literally a free world like you do whatever the freak you want literally i'm not even joking anything and uh, for that s tier all the way the best game honestly i love it grounded it was still early access when me and my cousin played it was actually really fun it was really creepy i have arachnophobia so i really do hate spiders not that like i would jump out of my chair and like scream to the cops and tell them to go burn down my house for it but like you know i hate the i hate spiders so like it was a really good game i'll give it an a tier i love it injustice it was so complex i'd rather just play it on my phone i love it more on my phone than in steam and steam is just like it's like playing the piano, bro. Like, you have to spread your fingers to make a good combo. Like, dang. But I don't play it, to be honest. I don't play it. Like, I actually don't. Left 4 Dead 2. It's a good game. Very short story, not gonna lie. I really don't... I really didn't enjoy it when I played it. Um, But it, it's in the D tier for me. Lethal Company. Man, this game died so damn fast, but it was so good when it came out. I remember playing with my friends and we would creep each other out just by not talking the walkie-talkie on purpose so they could get creeped out. It was really fun, I'm not gonna lie. But, Lethal Company. Ah, yes. I'm not gonna lie, we used to play with mods in this game, which made it way much better. But, like, the game itself with no mods... <gasps> freaking hiccups. The game itself with no mods, it's really fun. I love it. And I wish they would add more updates, but like the creator really didn't do much besides. Well, actually, yeah, I can't, they can't do it. My bad. I, never mind, never mind. The creator did do some something. But other than that, the game is so good. I love it. I It's just so good. And that's why I'm going to put it in S tier. Like whenever me and my cousin will play. Okay, I like I like Okay, fine, fine, fine. A tier, A tier. It's not that good. It's not that good. But it's an A tier for me. I just love the game. If you play with friends, if you play by yourself, I don't know what you're doing. You're not going to have as much fun. Magic the Gathering. I don't play it. Honestly, it's there. It's not even downloaded or anything. It's just there for some reason. I remember my friend told me to download it. And then <laughs> once I downloaded it, I uninstalled it right away. Because I, I just don't play it. I never played it. Shinobi Striker. <sighs> it's a game which I played and I enjoyed. But, like, I don't play it either. Like, I just don't. I just don't. 
Night of the Dead. So this is um, this is a really good game. It's like a zombie survival game, and I really enjoyed playing it. It's a there's another game which I will soon reveal that's way better than this that I like more. But Night of the Dead actually has its unique styles of surviving and like laying down traps and like a horde of zombies coming every night to kill you and whatnot and having to lose. It's a really good game, but not the best. I do enjoy playing it when I play with friends, not by myself. This is not the type of game that I would play by myself. So for that, I'm gonna leave it in C tier. It's a good game. Plans vs Zombies Battle of the Neighbors. I don't play this game. I don't think anybody plays this game. I remember waiting in a lobby for half an hour just to join a damn match. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I waited 30 minutes to join a game. Like, nobody plays this game. I think the, the, the creators of the game, I forgot who they were, EA or whatever the freaking name is. They kind of just fell off after a few years. After after really messing up the game. <laughs> just, just why? Just why did you mess up the game? People still play it, actually. I, I was surprised that I logged back in and I was able to actually play a match within like the span of a minute. Like, dang. But uh, other than that, like, I don't know. I feel like Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 is better. So I'm going to leave it a C tier. Project Playtime. It's terrible. I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. I like Dead by Daylight way much better than Project Playtime. Raft. It's really fun with friends. Although I feel that it's so easy like there's no challenge into the game like you won't die by anything I'm not even joking not even the shark the shark is food to me Like I kill it whenever I'm hungry. I'll go down in the ocean and kill it myself uh, But other than that the game is really fun with friends I really love the adventure and the how more you expand within the little cube that you spawn So uh, I'll leave it a beat here. It's really fun. I like it Risk now I have this game both in steam and in real life. I love playing them both in real life and in steam but in steam i don't play it as much as in real life i play with my family most of the time but the game in general just talking like just the game in general it's really fun i love it i love the fact that like you'll probably break up with your girlfriend if you were to play it with her or a friend or something i don't know and it, other than that it's really good i love it it's a big tier for me i, I enjoyed the the nice conversations we had the very very nice conversations risk of rain 2 I barely got into the game really my friend introduced me to it and i'm barely playing it so i can't really give you a full ranking of this game i can't really give you a full rank of this game because i barely got into it but it's really fun i'm not gonna lie other than that i think it's a b tier for me too i really enjoyed it i feel like i would play it more often but for the moment it's just gonna it's gonna stay in b tier i love it subnautica s tier all the way bro I remember when this game came out, it kind of blew up because of all the creators that were playing. It's just like, it's a, like, it was a total different idea. Like, it, it's like, dang, I love it. I loved it. I remember playing it, beating the story, the harrowing adventures I would have in this game. Super creepy too. It gives a creepy vibe into it. I live, I really love the ocean, like, a lot. So that's why I'm like, kind of biased to this game. I really love this game. Subnautica Below Zero. S tier 2. Same thing, same reason. It's just amazing. It's just a bunch of monsters in the water that are creepy that are trying to kill you. You just gotta survive and escape. Tekken 7. Had my same opinions for like Tekken 8 again, but like it's a, I like Tekken 8 better. So I'm gonna give it C tier. Yeah. Tabs Battle Simulator. Sorry, sorry. Total accurate battle simulator. This is a fun and goofy game. I'm not gonna lie. I love playing it. I recorded a video of this. I just love it. It's so funny to me. It's like, it's like they're they're in war, but they're not taking it serious. I love it. So for me, I really enjoy playing the single player campaign. It's really fun actually. And I know I recorded and I haven't finished. I, I tend to do that where I just start things that I don't finish. I don't know. It's funny to me. But um, for me, it's a it's a solid B tier. It's a solid B tier. Ultimate custom knife. Oh my god! I gave up the first day I played. D tier. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I, I actually enjoyed the game. I really love it. It's, um, but yeah, it was really hard to beat. Like, really, really hard. Like, dang, I couldn't even beat the... the dang! I'm gonna just leave it in C tier. I just... I can't beat the Knights, no matter what. War Game Red Dragon. Now, I really love this game, actually. I was gonna put it on, like, play every day because I really do. I try to get better at the game each day. But the thing is... This game is not as popular. Like, you rarely see players online, but I, you will get in a match if you really wanted to. But the thing is, I love this game because it, it's like a World War aspect. And, like, 
better. It's just amazing. I love it. I love the fact that you control your own troops, your own planes, everything. They literally got ev everything. They got battleships. They got ships. They got tanks. They got troops. They got they got literally everything in it. So that's why I really love the game. I'm really trying to get like better into it. And yeah, I just play it every day. Seven days to die. I would lie if I were to put it on a play every day. But it is a solid S tier. I love this game. I play both by myself and with friends. And both are really fun. Like, when I play with myself, I usually do this thing that my brother does as well. Where, like, if you die, you lose everything. Sort of like Minecraft Hardcore mode, where if you die, you lose everything. I kind of do the same, like, discipline to myself. If I die, I lose everything. It's really fun. You have to lose. You gotta survive. Each seven days is like a horde of zombies will come. And each, like... Each seven days, it will get harder and harder and harder. It's just so good. I love it. I remember playing with both of my cousins. It's really fun. I really enjoy the fact that every... You just got to prepare for the horde, man. Because if you don't, you're dead. You're dead. You're a goner. There's like no no bueno. But other than that, I really love the game. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. And yeah. Overwatch 2. I don't play it. I have it in my library. I just don't play it. I heard a lot of bad things about it, so I just don't play. <laughs> Age of Empires 3. Uh, this is hard to rank because I don't play it, but it's not a bad game. It's an oldies type of game, but like, I really do enjoy it. But it's not something, I again, I would play. It's like, it's like war game and like other war game. <laughs> <laughs> but like in an old stylish way where they would have muskets and swords and horses and whatnot And but to me, it's a solid C tier Cossacks 3. I love it way better than Age of Empires to be honest I just don't love playing online Online is a whole different scenario like you will never win a game of online to be honest But like if you're playing single player with bots, <laughs> it's a fun game. I'll give it an A tier I really love the game. You can make a huge army with the game. So it's pretty fun Fine answer, Freddy's help wanted. Now, if you're playing in VR, this game scares the living crap out of me. I'm not even joking, man. I can't even play the game, bro, because I'm just that scared of the game. Like, dang, this is a solid S tier. Because to be honest, this is the first game where I'm like actually like, I'm trembling. My legs are shaking, man. Like, I can't do it. So yeah, that's why I put it in S tier. It's really, it's such a good game. Castle Crashers. I remember my friend showed me this game. I would play it with him. I just. I don't know. I just don't like it. It's a fun little game, but it's just like, it's not for me, man. I'm sorry. How to survive. I don't play it. Just like that. Yeah, I just don't play it. Tower Unite. I love the way that they have different games. And it's, it's, it's kind of like your own RPG game where you got to earn money. And, you know, there's a, there's a casino in the game. So I'm kind of a gambler. So I'm going to put an S tier. Although, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Now, um, I, I would put it like on a solid C tier. I don't play this game because none of my friends play it. If my friends played it, I'd probably play it more, but none of my friends play it. But if I if I were to play it from time to time, it's a solid C tier. I, I enjoy playing the game. Men of War Assault Squad 2. I don't play it. I just don't. PUBG Battlegrounds. Man, I remember when this was like the first Battle Royale game in like every single Day, I would actually play this with my cousin Daniel but because there was obvious reasons that this game died like for example the creation of Fortnite <laughs> this game died off really quickly to be honest but when I played it it was really fun there used to be a huge hacker problem with this game like a huge I'm not even joking I would play this game and it would not be fun without a hacker bro like I'm not even kidding bro like you would expect a hacker a hacker to be in the game bro but other than that I'm gonna put it in a solid C tier. I don't play the game anymore, to be honest. But when I did play, it was kind of fun. Civilization 4. I don't play. It's actually the worst war game I've ever played, to be honest. Or the city building game. Tomb Raider. I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the story, actually. I'm not much of a, like, fan of, like, single player story games. But this one actually really got my attention. I really enjoyed playing it. And, uh, it's just... I don't know it's just like i loved it but like i didn't love it like i wouldn't go back into it again like i would for subnautica or like the forest but i'll leave it i'll leave it c tier i don't enjoy it as much but i would finish the story who's your daddy 
<laughs> this is a hilarious game if you play with friends, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, dude. There's some times where, like, I would have so much fun with my friends, dude. Like, we would just goof off all the time, dude. But this is such a fun game. That is why I'm gonna leave it in A tier. It's not S tier, but it is an A tier. I love playing the game. Really brings the joy out of me, not gonna lie. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's a really fun game. <laughs> World War Z Aftermath. I'm not gonna lie. I love zombie games. If you couldn't tell from the zombie games I have. But this one just felt weird. Like, I don't know how to explain. Like, I don't know if I could explain this. Like, if there was too many zombies. Like, that's part of the game. Like, the game, right? Like, that's a part of the game. Like, that was the movie, too. Like, it's just all zombies, right? But, like, it felt, to me, there was no skill. It's just, like, shoot your gun and, and don't die to me. Like, that was my... I don't know. I enjoyed it when I played, but it wasn't as fun. So that's why I'm gonna leave it on D tier. Solid D tier. My singing monsters. Oh my god. I remember I would make beats, remix, everything in this game. I'm not even joking. I would get excited whenever I had a freaking rare Pokemon. I mean, monster. It was freaking dope. But other than that, I don't play on the Steam. I actually play more on the phone. I hated the fact they added ads in the damn phone. So for that reason, I'm gonna bring it down to a B tier. It was gonna go in A tier because it was just that good, but because they added it, they added ads, bro. They just kind of, I don't know, it killed the vibe, really. Gary's mod. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably where the brain rot of like Skibbity Toilet and all this started. So, like, I'm gonna leave it at D tier. I don't hate the game, it's actually really fun. But, like, yeah, it's just, it's, it belongs there. Just shapes and beats. I play it almost every day. I love the game. I love... If there's something you want to know about me, I really love, like, beats, remixes. Like, all of those. Like, that is my thing. So, playing this game just really... It, like, I enjoy playing it. It's really cool. It's really fun. Other than that, yeah, that's about it. It's just the music. I play literally every day. Almost every day. Stick Man for the Fight Game. No, sorry. Stick Fight the Game. I really enjoy playing this with my friends. Uh, I remember we would always, like, fight for... Who's better at the game and all that? It wasn't really that serious. We were only played literally for like 15 minutes and log off and never played until another month. But other than that, this game is actually really fun just to goof off with your friends. So I'm gonna just leave it a solid B tier. I like the game. Trove. I remember this is like my first game I got when I got Steam. I don't play no more. Actually, I don't even play it at all. That's why I'll probably put it don't play. But I had fun when I played it. Like, it, it actually had a good, like, story. Well, it didn't really have a story, but, like, it was a good adventure game. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, upgrading your weapons, getting new pets. It was amazing. So, for that, I'm gonna leave it in B tier. And that's it for all my rankings of my Steam library. Yeah, I know it's not a lot of games. That's why I probably did this, because I don't have a lot of games. So, I took advantage of it. I'll probably do another ranking of all my games in my, in my computer, but not for the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is only my opinion of the game. This isn't like, which is the best game in the world. Like, no. it, it was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't post for the past month. I've been really busy. You know, I have a 9 to 5 job. So, like, it's kind of hard for me to make videos and edit. So, um, but hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my opinions on these games. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.